me about this instrument. Yeah, this is a Burl Rezaphonic guitar. Uh, Burl Murdoch is the builder, and he's kind of a new builder that I, I just kind of stumbled upon a few years ago. Um, I was teaching at a camp, and one of my students had one, and she was just learning to play, but I could tell it was a really a good guitar, hmm. you know. And so after the second day of camp, I was like, hey, can I try that guitar? She said, absolutely, and it was one of the best dobros I'd ever played. Huh. And so she put me in touch with him, and he was at the IBMA convention in Raleigh a few weeks later, so we met up there, and he had a booth set up and all his guitars, and I played them all, and I just, just was really impressed. So we kind of been friends since then. He gave me a couple guitars, and uh, this, after talking for a while, we kind of talked about doing a signature model, and so this is it. And um, wow. it's about a year old, I guess. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, Hard Rock Maple, and um, that fretboard is his idea, the ebony and the curly maple. Total yin-yang thing. Yeah, right? yeah. And so that's really unique. And, um, you know, dobros are kind of flashy anyway, just with Yo. the metal parts and stuff. So I don't, I don't like really flashy guitars, but when he ran this idea by me, I said, yeah, let's go for it. Let's try it. And I love it now. So yeah. I'm really sold on well, it. It's actually, it's, it is a very kind of subtle. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful, man. And, uh, but you know, when I played one of his guitars, what I look for is a response time, you know, sure. and you, when you play a really good dobro, it's just, it's in your face super fast. Yeah, and so this. it sounds great low and in the mid and up high uh, so it's kind of got everything I need so it uh, it's been really great just it's been really happy with it well fabulous so that is your signature and your number one obviously it is this is my main axe and I've got a pickup in it so when we play live I plug in what pickup are you running um, I use the Fishman Nashville Rezo series oh, cool. um, and uh, yeah it's great it's a bridge pickup and well, I'll plug it in later. We can hear what it sounds like. But it sounds like a Dobro, which this is probably the first pickup that's done that. You know, it just, <laughs> right. uh, they just hadn't been able to get there yet. Yeah, it's a tough thing to reproduce. It is. It usually, usually most Dobro pickups, well, most pickups in general are too bright, you know, yeah. for us acoustic players. Sure. Um, but this one, it sounds like my guitar. So I'm really happy with it. Um, so yeah, so that's what I use when we play live. But um, So what strings and picks are you using? Yeah, these are Daddario Nickel Bronze, and Trey turned me on to these a few years ago. I use Phosphor Bronze forever, Daddario's. And these Nickel Bronze, they, they sound great and they last forever. I mean, I hardly ever change strings anymore, oh, uh, which I like. Uh, but yeah, they're great. And gear-wise, uh, I've been using these blue chip thumb picks for quite a while now. Huh. It's a super hard plastic. Wow. And this guy's from Knoxville, and he just started going around to festivals and getting all the players turned on. He does flat picks also. Uh -huh. And uh, so I met him pretty early on, and he gave me one to test drive, and I just fell in love with it. And I used to go through a thumb pick every night. You know, two sets wow. would kill it. And these things last me two, three years, you know, so there's wow. no no comparison. I mean, they're a little expensive, you know, but they are worth it. Um, and then finger picks, a guy in Ohio makes these, Bob Perry, these are gold-plated, um, and they're just awesome. They're kind of like the old Nationals. Yeah. Um, they're real comfortable, and uh, so I've been using these for a long time. Do you bend the tips back at all? I don't. I think after playing a while, they get bent back naturally, but when yeah. I put them on, they're pretty straight. I think you get more volume, a little more high-end when they're straighter like that. Huh. But yeah, some people push them up against the top of their fingers, yeah. you know. But, uh, but yeah, I, I leave them kind of straight. Yeah, yeah. And then this is a Shearhorn bar, and I've got some Shearhorn guitars. He's an amazing builder also. I played his guitars for 30 years before I ran into Burl. Um, but this is a Dobro slide, and as you see, it's very ergonomic. You know, your index finger goes in top, and um, it just sits in your hand really comfortably. A lot of pedal steel players have a round bar, yeah. and those just never made sense to me. You know, I don't know yeah. how they keep a grip on those. But this, it, it's kind of indented on the sides, so you can really get a grip on it, and um, you can do... You know, with these instruments, there's so much room for noise. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. So you're, you spend your whole life trying to get rid of that noise, you know? And being able to 
have a bar that fits your hand perfectly is is worth a lot you know oh, yeah. so i've been using these bars forever they are awesome yeah